All right, so I'm gonna work 17, 18, 19, and 7.2. And what you need to realize is that 7.2, we're using addition and subtraction formulas. Well, this is still um, using the addition and subtraction formulas, but we're actually working backwards. So instead of trying to add and subtract, we're gonna, um, and spread it out, we're gonna take it the other way. So this should look familiar. So this is the cosine of x cosine y plus sine x sine y, which you know is the subtraction formula. Cosine is the opposite sign. This is the subtraction formula for cosine. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to go the other way with it. So uh, this is my x is my y. So I really know that this is the cosine of x, which is 3 pi over 7, minus my y, which is 2 pi over 21. Now, you are free to change this to degrees. Um, if you do change this to degrees, you're going to have decimals, but once you subtract, you'll get a whole number. So that's completely up to you. Um, when you subtract fractions, and you might want to just because we're going to subtract fractions and we have to have a common denominator. The common denominator is 21. So this is going to be the cosine of 9 pi over 21 because I just multiplied by 3 to get that common denominator. Minus 2 pi over 21, which is actually the cosine of 7 pi over 21, which if I reduce that, that's just the cosine of pi over three. And we know what the cosine of pi over three is. The cosine of pi over three or the cosine of 60 degrees is one half. So that's my answer. Okay, so I just used my subtraction formula for cosine and wrote it as one term and then found that exact value. All right, 18 is not gonna be any different than that. You just have to recognize what formula this is. This is the formula for addition, the addition formula for tangent. So really this is gonna be the tangent of pi over 18 plus pi over nine. And let's just do it in degrees if you wanna see. You can get a common denominator, of course, and do the same thing there. Or you could just say, well, this is the tangent of 10 degrees plus 20 degrees, which is the tangent of 30 degrees. And we know that the tangent of 30 degrees, that exact value is the square root of 3 over 3. And keeping it in radians, if you want to do, that's pi over 18 plus 2 pi over 18, which is 3 pi over 18, or pi over 6, which is 30 degrees. So anyway, you go. All right, and then one more. So this is still a tangent. This is a subtraction formula. So this is gonna be the tangent of 73 degrees minus 13. And that's gonna be the tangent of 60 degrees, which is the square root of 3. 